Hey guys, my name is Filler Fizz. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe so you don't miss out on Kingdom of Heckfire videos. Anyways, today I got a brand new video for you guys, and it's how to spend your chow, right? So, um, unfortunately, it's not tooth for scale, but you know, it it is what it is. Um, uh, actually, the last couple of days it was uh, tooth and scale, and the rewards for them is so good. But today is not tooth and scale, so. I'm gonna tell you guys um, which dragons to spend your chow on and which ones to prioritize and kind of like how you get uh, chows and stuff like that. Um, really, really good stuff. So let's get started, right? So first of all, everything I know about chow. So um, I know for a fact if you have epic dragons, they are really hard to get a chow for. So what I do with my um, epic dragons is I just uh, run raids with them. I just, if, whenever there's a raid, they're the only ones that go because um, they're really hard to level up and chows don't come easy for them. They only you only really get them from level four raids or like um, under here the dragon tab and then epic dragon corner. Sometimes they sell chow here, but it's really really not good if you buy it that way. Honestly, it's really not smart. So I highly suggest not doing that. Um, really not not good thing to do so if you want to level up your epic, epic dragons um just run them through raids especially level five um little level five uh let me see zabers zetes the level five um this is only level three but it gives you seventy eight thousand xp which is amazing, that's a lot. Um, the level five gives you a lot more, so I highly suggest just doing that. And then, again, with uh, research, you can get more out of your, um, you can get more out of your chow. So right here, um, this is my Realm Mastery tab, but right here, I have this Dragon XP boost, max to 20 out of 20. So having that max 20 out of 20, each chow will cost more, right? So See, in my three biomes, I have that max to 20 out of 20, max, and then max, and then I'll show you guys really fast. And my dragon discipline, um, my three dragons, epic, my three epic, my four epic dragons is only 12 out of 20. I'm so sorry, I'm stuttering so much. And I'll show you guys like the difference, right? So um, let's click on Rot here my, for my guy Rot. So um, I have 11. Uh, golden chows, right? So for using one you get 21.3 K XP and then if you use all of them, it's like 20 234 K XP so like about uh, half a, a quarter of a million, right? So um, So that's because I have a uh, max dragon XP in that biome But as you can see right here um, for one and my epic dragon because it's only 12 out of 20 it's only 18k XP, so you're getting gypped like 3k XP each one, right? So, um, again, if for the 11, you only get 198, so that's like 50k XP lost just from like, uh, just for not having that max. And that goes for like all XP, all chow. So, um, you see this the dragon, the bonus chow, so all those counts for it too. So, Having that maxed out, this will benefit you so much, honestly. Um, I've seen it time and time and again where people just um, speed up like all of their their chows. They just spend it, but it's like they don't have that max. So they're actually losing a lot of chows, a lot of XP per chow, um, not having that max of 20 out of 20. So what are you doing? Like max that up as soon as you can it's it's really expensive i know but it's like the first research so you can get that max of 20 out of 20 fast it doesn't even matter if you go down just get that max on all three biomes please <laughs> i know it's expensive but it's worth it right I, I promise you all right so let's start so epic dragons um you need to prioritize those because uh epic dragons are again your first march on PvP, PvE, and raids. Um, they're your strongest dragons by far. Um, my Waffles is only level 95 and then tier 10, rank 20, but it's way stronger than my 
Raw, that's 115 tier 10, level 23. You're ready to be uh, tier 11, right? So it's kind of uh, crazy how much of a difference those uh, epic dragons do, but they're really worth it. So um, prioritize those, um, level them up with raids, and um, you can only get uh, epic chow from level 4 raids, so run those all the time whenever you can, and it will benefit you so much. And then um again with these dra epic dragons if you are pvp i highly suggest um ranking up waffles because his ability is legit pvp pvp rallying pvp anything right so um if you're pvp just uh focus smack get him as high as you can but if you're pve i highly suggest um focusing on smack because smack is my favorite dragon if you've seen my other videos about Smack, um, you already know. But if you haven't seen that, watch it because um, I, I told everybody why my Smack is my favorite dragon. Mostly for the gold concept. You get like so much gold. You can be rich off gold just from having Smack, right? So or, um, I say early game, you focus your main biome and because they will be your wall dragon, right? So um, again, the game gives you a free dragon in the beginning, a rare dragon. So it's either Rot or Captain Sparkles or Wrecker and Bob. So it gives you for free 100%. So um, you should focus that dragon because it's gonna be your strongest dragon for the longest time. And it's also gonna be your wall dragon, right? So for the longest time, my Rot and my Yurik was my wall dragon and unfortunately um, lady being an epic dragon passed him so now my lady is in my wall dragon and it's nine nine hundred nine hundred and nineteen billion I think or million nine hundred and nine million and then Yurik is only eight hundred and ten so obviously I'm gonna pick lady for but for you beginners I'm talking to you yes you with the white shirt that doesn't have a stain on it. <laughs> um, you are gonna have um, your PVP dragons for the beginning, so I highly prioritize um, spending your chow there, especially your rare dragons, because your rare dragons is good for PVP and PVE and raids, so they're really good. Um, uh, so they're really good pretty much every single way possible. I would prioritize those and they're gonna be stronger again than your um, uncommon dragon stamp, uh, un your uncommon dragons, which, you know, my Yurik is my uncommon dragon and it's PVP and that would have been my wall dragon if I don't have ladies. So prioritize those two because you want your wall as high as possible without having as much knights because royal knights will just blow up your wall. So I highly suggest um, getting those two up and then getting your wall up to where people can hit you, right? So that's why you should focus and um so like getting to like mid late game when you're getting like masteries and stuff you at least get your first mastery um you'll probably start noticing that after you get your one mastery you're gonna have to work on all your masteries eventually so i highly suggest that you even it out so like um my raw is like level 115 right and then my captain sparkles is level 110 so they're not a whole lot difference like five level difference and then my uh, record and Bob is level 109 so uh, not quite 110 but uh, what I'm saying is like they're pretty much all even you know if I um, if I wanted to I could spend chow and like try to get them as even as I can but that is gonna be like late game so try to even those out only in rare dragons right so only on rare dragons try to have them as even as you can because they're really op dragons um you should do that as early as you can because um middle to late game you on you honestly need to have every biome um kind of literally even um i've been working on my bfa and I'm trying to get that as even as I can. Um, honestly, you know, all bad land, but you know, my grass and swamp is also trying to get up there because um, I'm trying to even them out. And then my late game gameplay is gonna be like having all of them maxed where I can't get any more. So um, as you can see right here, um, max bonus versus players under the grassland bonus. 
so there's a number right there so there's like 387 is my max for grass 460 is my max for badland and then 385 is my max for swamp so again you can't go over that so um i'm gonna try to have those as max as i can and then do more research and then try to maximize max them up again so that is my um my that's what i you know that's what i do for my gameplay you don't have to follow that but you should maybe if you want to if you don't want to then you don't have to worry about it and then after that you can just um start prioritizing like your pve dragons because the higher this is the better so like i'll show you guys my my marches right so this is like my first march and then my second march is gonna be depending on the biome you know raw and yurik because they're really strong and then my third one would have been captain sparkles fricker and bob and chip and crank so all pretty much my rare dragons right so that's exactly what i prioritize because i want my second third fourth march fifth march to be good so um after i level up my rare dragons there's other sets of new rare dragons and they're uh, Stabigail, um, Chip, Crank and Crunch and then Norser Tooth. So um, that's what I prioritize next. Um, try to get them as high as you can, as fast as you can because they're gonna, um, in your biome when you're hitting just camps, monster camps, they're gonna be your strongest. So, um, so I know for me at least like it'd be like really awkward because um my first march would be like really really strong and then my second march would be like weak and then my third one would be even weaker so it's almost like wasting brew right because you could have been three hitting but you can't because you're weak and then you waste that much brew because you just can't uh, three hit a camp so i'm working on my 11th i'm really really excited about it but i'm not quite there yet which is unfortunately but you know if you have these uh, dragons like really high up, then they'll hit harder. And then same with like um, Chomper. I'm working on my Chomper because uh, my Stabigail is pretty much max rank, right? What level 115. So I need to get that up. Uh, my my limit for leveling up dragons. I need to get that up. And then I'm also working on my Nozure Tooth and then Chip Crank Crunch. And then after that, it'd be like my Chomper and then Bertha and then Ruby, you know, like Bones, pretty much I don't really focus in because it's a PvP dragon and I only work on my PvE because I'm a farmer. I played this game as Farmville, so that's my gameplay. So anyways, if you guys learned something out of this video, um, please leave a like. It really helps me out. I love you guys so much. I love all of my subscribers. I'm so close to 200 subscribers. So I was going to show you guys really fast. Um, 198. Oh my gosh. Two more. Who's going to be my 200 subscriber? Um, and I, again, I'm going to do something crazy for you guys for like maybe a thousand subscribers because that's kind of a hard, a hard, hard thing to do. So um, again, I couldn't have done it without you guys. Ooh, that's crazy. I went to YouTube. But um, I couldn't have done it with you, without you guys, without you watching my video, you know. I love every single one of you and thank you for being here. I love all the DMs. Please, if you have anything to say or like if you want me to make a video about something, leave it on the comment section down below and that is going to be coming up. So it might not be like the next day, but it's definitely coming up because I am lined up on my videos and I will upload them as I have them. So anyways, this has been Filler Fizz and I'll see you guys in my next video. Hopefully you learned something new. Bye. <laughs> see you.